Hi there guys, Barry from Copper vs Glass and today we're going to be doing something a little bit cool and we're going to be installing the new Facebook Home onto my Nexus 4. Now you may be thinking that's a little bit strange because the Nexus 4 isn't one of the officially supported devices for Facebook Home. That's something like the Galaxy S4 or the new HTC One. Now that doesn't mean to say you can't do it, but it just means it's going to be a little bit buggy, it may not work properly, and you may have a lot of issues, or it just may not work at all. But I have tried it before this video, and I know it does work on my Nexus 4, and so have other people reported it on the web. So let's go ahead and give it a go onto my Nexus 4, and we'll see what Facebook Home is all about, and why you might actually want to do this. So let's have a look. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to now download the three-part APK that's going to allow us to get Facebook Home on our unsupported Nexus 4. The way we can do this is because of this post right here which I found, uh, and there probably are a few more like it, but this is the one I found, which has essentially got a patched version of the Facebook Home application that stops the device check, which means that it allows you to run it. Uh, now, I'm going to put the link, of course, for this in the blog uh, post below, um, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and run through this process now, and I'll get back to you in a couple of minutes. Just before I leave you, I'm going to be downloading this one just here, which is the Facebook main app in brackets, Katana. Then we've got the patched messenger app, which is Orca, and then we've also got the patched home app, which is just called the patched home app. So I'm going to go ahead and download all three of these, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Alright guys, so now I've downloaded all three uh, application parts, we're just going to go ahead and look at which ones we need to do in which order. So the first thing we're going to do is install the Facebook main application Katana. Now what I do need to mention is that before you install these you have to uninstall all of your Facebook apps that you have on the phone already. That includes the Facebook app and the Messenger app that you have already. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So, ah, and my bad I haven't even got them installed. <laughs> look at that. So let's go back to the web page here. So we're going to install the Facebook main app first, which is Katana. So if we just go into our list here and we look at the list, we've got Katana right here. So we're just going to go ahead and look at this. And we've got the Facebook install process. So we're going to say, yep, next, next, and next, and install. And it's going to install the application for us. Once it's done, we're not going to open it up. We're going to go back and install the other applications. So app install done. So we're going to say done, not open. And we'll take us back to this web page. Now we're going to install the Orca, which is the Messenger application. So let's go back to our list of downloads. I'm going to see we've got Orca just here. And again, it's the Messenger install. We're going to say, yep, accept all these conditions and install. And the last one that we've got to do, of course, we're going to say done. The last one we've got to do is the main uh, home application, the patched version of course, which allows us to install it on an unspecified device. So we'll say home, and we'll say yep, we've got the home install here as you can see, and we'll say install, and it's done. Now I'm just going to say OK on the bottom here. Now you'll notice that when I go back to the home page now, it should ask me, <laughs> and of course it didn't, so we're going to click on home just here. It took a little while for us to uh, get on board there, so we're just going to... Alright, so now you can see it's going to say complete the action using one of the following. Now the reason why it's asking us to do this is because yes, the Facebook Home app is just simply a launcher like the stock one I've got here and Nova Launcher which is the one I'm actually using. So I'm going to say Home. Now important choice to make here, you can either say always or just once. I'm just going to be saying just once here because I I don't want to say always and I don't want to get uh, stuck into anything so I'm just going to say just once to try it out. So I'll say just once. So next time we press the home button select Facebook app and then tap always that's just saying okay next time we press the home button it's going to ask you again do you want to say always or just once. So I'll say okay. And after it loads and it's going to do a bit of caching here which may take a little bit of time you're going to be presented with Facebook home. And here we are. 
So this is Facebook Home on my Nexus 4. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and uninstall this now and I'll show you how to do it. So because I clicked just once, I'm going to click back on the home button here. It's going to ask me to choose a launcher. So I'm going to say Nova or you can just choose your stock one and I'll say always. And it's going to take me back to where I was before. Now very very simple to uninstall. I'll just go in here and I'm going to delete the home application first. Uninstall. OK. And it's gone. I'm also going to install these patched versions of the Facebook app and also the Facebook Messenger app just because if I did want to start using them again I'd rather use the proper versions. So that's it and now we're back to where we were before. So that's how you install uh, the Facebook Home application on your device using the patched versions of the APK so that it doesn't check your device and thus allows you to do it. Uh, and yeah, I think it works pretty well. Um, of course, when your device is officially supported, it might work a bit better and it'll be less complicated. But hey, if you want to do it now, give it a shot. I'll post all the links below uh, to where you need to get the APKs from. And yeah, give it a go. This is Barry from Copper Class and I'll catch you guys later.